Hey everyone, welcome to Gypsy Monday Night Tarot. Um, today I'm going to be reading for all signs from Aries to Pisces and um, this will be regarding the person in your mind. So let's find out um, what's going on with them, um, how do they feel about you and their possible next steps, okay? I hope you will get some insights and um, enjoy the process as well, yeah? Enjoy our readings. Uh, to all my subscribers, thank you for your continued support and um, if you are new to my channel, welcome. All right. If you're interested for more weekly and monthly readings, you can check out my channel. Um, I post for individual signs on a weekly basis as well as monthly readings um, beginning of the month and the middle of the month as well. Okay, so for the readings in August, they're all out already, so you can check those out too. All right, so let's get started. Let's just talk about your person. Yeah? And these are general fun readings, so take it however that resonates and leave what doesn't. Okay. All right, let's start with Aries. Person in your mind, Aries, what do they, what information can we get about them? What's going on with them? All right, let's see. Okay, what's going on with this person, Aries, is someone who you may have left them, you may have turned your back from them. Or someone who may even have walked away from you. Yeah. But they were not happy. Yeah. They were not happy walking away. And they're not actually doing any communication. They're not communicating. They're not doing any effort towards you. They still keep an eye on you, but at the same time, they're not really acting on their desires, on their wants towards you. Mm-hmm. Some of you, this person could have um, some financial distress, yeah. But for the most part, I feel like they are, they are feeling that they are losing or getting the shorter end of the bargain here. In their heart space, I feel this person is still wanting to, to make this right with you, yeah. Could be dealing with a Libra too. They still want to initiate in in their heart, yeah. So, in their in their mind, they feel like you know things are not really working well. So you separated, but in their heart, this is someone who wants to um, initiate, wants to have this new start with you, yeah. And it feels like they know, yeah, that this is a good opportunity for them. They know that um, being with you, it's a good, but great potential for abundance and exp expansion, especially for if they are wanting to have commitment. They know that they can have it with you. Yeah, in their heart, they want that. Yeah, they want to have um, to have this honest, clear communication with you. Mm -hmm. But I do see that um, through their actions too. It's more like. Um, they may have rejected you in the past or ignored you or just being indifferent towards you. Um, for some, you know, when you reach out to them, when you talk to them, they may have even cut you off or have been quite argumentative. But I do see this person coming forward and um, giving you some explanations, giving you some reasons yeah, on why you are both in this situation right now. What happened to both of you? Yeah, I think this person is going to come forward and give you some explanations. And with that, I feel that this person would also be apologizing or try to give you some heartfelt messages. That's what I feel for you, Aries. Okay. Now, moving on to Taurus. The person in your mind, Taurus. Let's see what they, are they up to. All 
right, so. Wow. Okay, Taurus, um, the person in your mind, it feels like this is someone who, well, as of this moment, I do see this person withdrawing from you. Yeah, their energy is directed somewhere else. They could be um, working on their business and other stuff. But for some of you, this could be someone who is trying to do more networking with other people. They could respond to you, but it's a, you're being breadcrumb by this person right now. Yeah. And I feel that they want to concentrate more as of this time. Um, their concentration is around, or their focus is around um, a new romantic love. Or somebody, um, I feel that this person is wanting to work towards um, having a relationship with someone that they can be a match. Yeah, so let's just put it that way. And somebody who has the same likes, dislikes, um, hobbies, you know, things that you both do together. So if you are a person that they dealt with and um, if you know that you don't have a lot of similarities, you don't have a lot of, of um, hobbies that you can do together, then perhaps that's the reason why this person is walking away or stepping back. Yeah. Because this person is looking for serious commitment. Yeah, um, Less drama, but at the same time, they really want to have a, a, a match, uh, a partner. Partner, not just in sex, not just in, in mentally connected, but more so somebody that um, will possibly have aligned beliefs, um, aligned interest with them. Mm -hmm. I do see them, uh, they will continue to withdraw. Yeah. And um, if you pursue this person, you will definitely hit some roadblocks. Um, I don't see them um, focusing much on this connection right now because like I said, they could be busy not working with other people. For some, this is someone who is out in the dating scene and um, they could be having some other options yeah, in mind. So that explains why. For some of you who are being breadcrumbed by this person, that explains why. Uh, one thing to note, if you want to pursue this, I feel that you may need to show this person that you have the same interest only if you do, yeah? Only if you do have interest, not, not, not to the extent that you will have to fake, you know, having the same interest. Because sooner or later, you will hit more roadblocks if um, you pursue something that you are not really a match to this person. Because they are very keen in knowing that um, this is someone who is very keen in identifying uh, the person that they want to be partnered with. Okay. All right. Gemini. The person in your mind, let's see what they are up to. Gemini and Gemini, let's see, what do we have for you? <laughs> Gemini, the person in your on your mind is someone who is pretty busy with the attention that they're getting from all around the world, <laughs> getting from other people, or this is just somebody who is busy with other um, passionate endeavors they have in life yeah it could be their hobby their business whatever they are very passionate about it feels like they are thriving in in that um, area things are going well for them with regards to their connection with you um, somehow they wish to have you in their life yeah um, but this involves um, consideration of divine timing so it could possibly be that this person is thinking about you having you your energy within them, you know, feeling you uh, or just thinking about you from a distance, whatever this could be. They hope that at some point in time, there could be that sense of renewal between the two of you or that if this is really meant to be, then you will find yourself 
for them, they will find themselves um, working towards it. But as of this moment, I don't see this person really putting a lot of effort or something that you could really see them um, pursuing you. I don't see that happening. Uh, primarily because, like I said, this is someone who is focusing on, on the other aspect in their life. Um, for some of you, this is someone who has some financial distress or somebody who is undergoing some form of depression right now. A person who is pretty, um, is feeling low, right? And they are putting their energy in, in raising their vibrations up, their frequency higher so that they can be in a better position to make uh, a decision about their future. So likelihood, when you ask this person what do they want, this is the type who would tell you they don't really know what they want right now. Yeah, they don't really know what they want right now. But you are one of the people that are pretty much connected with them. And they're not fully closing the door with you too. Uh, they need to do a lot of work. This is someone who needs to do perhaps a lot of work about themselves. Um, perhaps making their business thrive or gaining more confidence yeah, to be in a relationship again. A lot of internal work that this person needs to do before they can be ready for a relationship. And they know that. They recognize that they need a lot of work and they're working on it but at the same time it's it's they also recognize it's a bit difficult yeah to regain that self-esteem self-confidence yeah. but they are not closing the door with you yeah. i do see this person though opening back up to you sometime later in the future they will um open themselves back up to you and um in time, they will focus their energy towards you and will be at the position of making the decision to choose you, to be with you, to move forward. Yeah, But not this time because they have other things that they have to take care of. Okay, And this is, uh, if this person is telling you it's not you, it's me, this is true. Yeah, that's exactly what I am getting right now. They need to settle some things within themselves, their desires, before they can truly be with someone. All right. Cancer. Let's see what's going on with the person on your mind. For cancer. Cancer, cancer in love. Okay. Wow. Cancer, the person in your mind is um, undergoing a lot of transitions, a lot of um, significant changes in their life right now. Uh, they may be confused. <laughs> about this situation with you they may not know entirely if this is the 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 relationship that they want yeah but the thing is this is someone who is who is faced with a lot of um, data a lot of energy or a lot of um, options even you know things that they can do things that they can talk about but this is someone who is just staring at those opportunities. They are not really taking action. Um, or even if you are both or you find yourself in a confusing situation with them and you don't really know what's going on, where this is heading, they feel the same way. Yeah, They feel the same way. Um, but their main approach is just to carry on, Yeah, be more harmonious with one another. They can do whatever they can within the day. Um, they try to do things for you and they would also receive from you if you're willing to give their, your energy to them. So it's more like this person trying to maintain harmony and balance in their life, not really shaking the boat. But in terms of progressing yeah, your situation, let's say if you're dating right now, in terms of really progressing, whether are you going to be committed, are you going to be um, 
you know, building a future together. Um, this has somehow left um, undecided. Yeah. Because this person seems to just don't know what they want. You could be dealing with someone who is a bit spiritual and it's somebody who believes that um, if it is meant to be it shall be and uh, if both of you are really meant for one another then you can be together and you will both thrive and expand together yeah, in terms of relationship so definitely this is a, a very I feel you're dealing with someone who is an open-hearted kind of person, yeah. A person who is open, open with their kindness, with their with their kindness towards people. Kindness towards people, yes. So for now, they are not really um, telling you anything regarding progression. Hmm? Because as of the moment, they also don't know what it is. Whether they want to pursue this, uh, you want to get married, you want to get a house together. Or you're not, you're not yet there. You're still sort of dating, and this requires a lot of patience from you. Yeah, it feels like things are going the same in a routine manner. The same things are happening. Yeah, it's the same things are happening no progression um, immediate future I see that uh, oh wow oh wow so for now okay cancer let's wrap it up for now this person may not tell you anything regarding progression because they are still not really sure um, either they're not sure whether are you the one or they're not sure how to go about building an empire with you or building a relationship a life together with you but they can see that there is that potential there yeah they have faith that if things flow smoothly with you then it shall happen right and once that happens i feel that once this person realizes that yes this is it with cancer then they would continue to work to put more effort yeah to choose you every time and that could actually lead to some long-term commitment and security for both of you. I do see this um, having a pretty good output. Yeah, let's not say ending, but it's an outcome. Pretty good output if you're looking for uh, to have this person in your life as your husband, long-term um, partner, and all that. I think that is possible too. It's on the cards. Yeah, but this is someone who is always taking things low. Because some confusion, some things that are still unclear, they, they don't really know how they feel about it or they don't really know what they want. And that's why they need some time to sort it out. They need some time to really know what they want. And if this relationship or connection with you is something that they want, that's the time they can put in effort. For now, it feels like you have already been going for a while, going on for a while. You have already invested some form of um, connection here. You have um, started dating. It's been a while now. It will continue to be that until this person gets to that point of um, realization that yes, they want this. This is someone who needs time. <laughs> All right, moving on to Leo. The person in your mind, Leo, what are they up to? person in your mind what are they up to person in, on your mind, Leo, is someone who, who is busy with work. Their attention is more about finances, about their stability, about what makes them feel grounded in life. Yeah, And 
this is someone who is at the crossroads right now in terms of how do they move forward with the options with the opportunities they have around them but it's more about their passionate endeavors it's more about their work it's more about networking with other people so it's more about their work yeah so the focus of this person right now is more about work not entirely about love mm -hmm. in their heart space I feel that um, they don't really want to talk about they don't really want to talk about um, love about being emotionally open to you yeah if they talk to you it's more about um, it's a very relaxed kind of energy yeah if you are yeah this is someone who doesn't really engage a lot in terms of serious talk yeah for the most part when you talk to them it feels like this person can be flighty yeah somebody who would respond to you but you don't really get in depth in terms of how they feel about you now um, what do they want from you right now you don't really get that you don't really get to that point mm -hmm. you could even feel that this person could be buying time yeah not making any decisions about relationship about love about both of you because they they are more focused on on the money on the financial security on their work yeah and how can they ex expand their network yeah that could give them a better future mm. yeah you're dealing with someone now who is the attention i hear you you're dealing with someone right now whose attention is primarily on the other side and uh, i mean on the um, stability on the work so if you are dealing with them you would probably feel neglected you would probably feel as though you don't really deserve this type of treatment if they are they are not focusing on you or something like that yeah but i do see this person um being more uh much of a doer in terms of their ambition there is a lot of things here but the goal of this person is to have long-term security and stability to be more successful to be more comfortable um for for some of you this is someone who wants to get married and have kids and have you know white picket fans house together and all that's their goal in mind but before they can get there they want to take care of the pentacles yeah they want to take care of the pentacles it's not more about love if this person has had some emotional trauma in the past they were suppressed they are currently suppressing it and then just focusing on the other aspect yeah which is the stability portion um, I do see them carrying on with that type of energy yeah until they get burned out <laughs> until they get burned out for some of you uh, they could also be dealing with someone or some other people yeah apart from this connection yeah nothing serious though it's more like uh whatever comes they will take it um, but they are not really focusing on the emotional aspect of things yeah they're not really focusing on the emotional aspect of things whether it be with this other people that they are dealing with or even with you even with you wow but they could relate to you they could talk to you but um, in terms of emotionally tying themselves up with you or being committed to you you won't get that for now okay moving on to Virgo let's see the person on your mind Virgo what are they up to Virgo. Okay. All right. 
right, where go? Wow. Okay, the person in your mind, this is someone that you have had closed, uh, or you have had some past cycle together. Could be an ex, could be somebody that um, you dealt with in the past and you had had some closure in the past too. Yeah. And I feel that this is um, this has been long over. Yeah, for some of you, you have already gotten over this person. Um, and so are they. Yeah, they have also sort of wrapped up a cycle with you. Uh, but in this reading, I do see them like trusting the universe on what what are the the possible outcomes yeah this is someone who is not uh finishing a chapter until it is really over until their last breath so this is someone who could have left the door open they may have ended a cycle with you but you could still communicate with them friendly perhaps but not really not really um engaging emotionally so end of a cycle with you right uh even though okay Virgo, again, um, this is someone that you have already had a cycle in the past, but I do see this person still kind of um, having this faith in the universe that, well, if having Virgo in my life is something that could truly make me happy in the long run, then let's see what the universe brings. You know, somebody who is a bit more open to what the universe would bring them. They are not pursuing really. They are not pursuing you right now, but they do have that faith. Yeah, they're not closing the door entirely for you. It's more like they're leaving it open and um, they're just focusing on, you know, being more happy, being more, at least even on their own, especially if this person is single right now. So they are just focusing on, on being happy. Yeah. But with you, there's a bit of this wish for this person that, um, you know, hopefully things you know if it is meant to be then they could again talk to you they could again be with you yeah in terms of feelings and love i feel that this person still do have feelings for you too mm -hmm. but they are not really doing a lot of effort yeah in trying to court you in trying to pursue you you don't see that happening right now it feels like they could be waiting waiting for the divine timing so cool it's really t two um cards here is saying that they still have their eyes on you but um at the same time they may be focusing on themselves right now or perhaps waiting for the right time to come yeah in order for both of you to reconnect or for both of you to be um, at the space where you can talk you can be more open you can be more vulnerable towards one another uh, they could have some other people around them who would be interested in them, but I don't see them very, uh, I don't see them showing interest back. Okay? That's what I feel. Because even if the cycle with you is over, the feelings they have for you is still there. Moving forward in a likely outcome, you would still be... <laughs> You would still be the main character in this person's heart space. They would begin to miss you and um, there would be that desire yeah, for them to, to entertain the potential of having you again in their life. And then I do see that there could be this sense of renewal, sense of a new chapter, sense of a new romantic chapter yeah, in your life with them. That's what I see. This could be a person too who is possibly healing right now. Yeah? After your cycle has ended. Okay. Now moving on to Libra. The person in your mind, Libra. Let's see. What are they up to?
person in your mind is currently <laughs> oh wow it seems like the person in your mind right now is not not so much in a good space okay wow Let's make this short and sweet. For Libra, the person in your mind is currently feeling sad. Yeah? Feeling sad that um, they didn't do their best when they had you. They could be disappointed too for what has happened between the two of you in the past. Whether it be an action from you or an action that they did to you. They're disappointed about it. They're sad about it. And... They don't really know if they can still do anything to salvage what you have together. Yeah, I feel that um, them or they are trying or they are, yeah, they are trying to hold back. Not engaging with you, not talking because uh, of that reason. You don't really know what to do right now. They feel like they can never do things right by you anymore. Or even if they want to address the ending that you had, they don't really know how to address that too. Yeah, Especially if this person has ghosted you, you're still in their mind. You're still in their... Your energy is still with them, right? You can still, you're still pretty much connected, but they just don't know. They just don't know what to do right now, whether to reach out to you or if if they do reach out, will you talk to them? You know, all these questions ha are happening, and primarily because they do regret. You know, they were disappointed for the past that has happened here, or for the past deeds that they have done towards you. Um, they're probably thinking a lot right now about you and I do feel that um, on a day-to-day -day basis they're just letting days uh, pass by every single day they try to think should I call Libra what should I tell them and if they answer this you know they try to analyze it they try to foresee what are the possible um, response that they could get from you yeah but into the future, I feel that um, I feel that this is a result of an ending. Yeah, it was a painful ending. However, this however this ending has transpired, it feels like it feels like um in the future, you would get more clarity about it. Yeah. You would get more clarity about why things have ended, why this person has ghosted you, um, because there's going to be a change of energy. Yeah, we have the wheel of fortune here. Yeah, there's a force, uh, a change of energy. The force of the universe is going to make this uh, change. Yeah, to materialize. Yeah, and I do see your person wanting to fix this. I do see them wanting to fix it and um, I do see them wanting to be more confident yeah, with their stand and with that confidence this could even likely bring this person to talk to give um, clarity to this ending between the two of you but for now they are pretty much sad and um, regretful okay. all right moving on to Scorpio the person in your mind, Scorpio, what are they up to? Alright. Alright, Scorpio. Scorpio, you could have Sagittarius Sun or you could be Scorpio Moon and Sagittarius Sun in this reading. It's very prominent. Um, anyway, uh, wow. All right. 
this Scorpio, you have someone in mind, you know, this person on your mind right now. I feel that um, they do miss you, yeah. Even if the, it, it's been a while, as if you have not been talking for a while, this person truly misses you. They think about you a lot, especially if you had some good, if you've shared some good times together, um, especially if you have spent good, exciting times together. This person couldn't forget that. Yeah. This person couldn't forget that. They still think about you a lot. But they also try to be more balanced in their approach in life every single day. So even if they miss you and then they don't talk to you, they try to control how they react to that nostalgia. Yeah. Instead of them rushing towards you and chase you, they don't actually do that. They actually rest and uh, recuperate. <laughs> They're stepping back, thinking about it, possibly even enjoying the daydreaming. And once they, they're done with the daydreaming, then off they start with their job for the day. So they know how to manage and control their feelings, their emotions, and their reactions to it, yeah? Uh, but true enough, the reason why they miss you is more about um, they see you as someone who they can really build with a life together they see you as that person who is capable of building a life with them so for the most part they don't see you if you have been with this person in the past they now they know that you are not just a casual encounter now they know that um, you are a person amongst all others that they have dealt with, who has this potential to build a life with them, yeah? To build a life with them. Um, in the future, I feel that um, they may not exactly know um, what to tell you or why they are coming back, but I do see them coming back. And um, their main goal is to uh, be able to acknowledge the fact that this is a connection. The connection between the two of you is real. Um, they would want to acknowledge that. And they would want to acknowledge that the potential for a loving romantic relationship between the two of you that is more committed, that is more real, that is more serious, is there. And I feel that they want to pursue that. Yeah, I see that happening for you. All right. So you tell you person in your mind let's see what they are up to for Sagittarius all right Sagittarius um, Okay, the person in your mind, Sagittarius, um, when you started off or when, you know, they don't really know what's going on between the two of you right now. This is someone who's pretty confused um, on what's happening. Yeah. If they ghost you, they don't know why. If um, you fought, even if you have had an argument, if they think about that fight, they don't even know why you fought in the first place. And this is someone who may have had a uh, amnesia for a while. But there is this sense that um, your person is in the state of confusion yeah, as to what's happening right now or what can they do right now. And why? Because they, they still, they are attracted to you. There is attraction here towards you. Yeah, It feels like there was a chemistry that was built between the two of you so that's why they're still appearing in this reading and um, for the most part too I feel that um, they are pursuing their own goals in life so if they're not communicating with you um, they could be busy with their own career with their own life with their own stuff yeah with the things that they love to do the things that gives them pleasure and enjoyment yeah 
And I feel that you're dealing with someone who is pretty confident, pretty independent. Yeah. So if you have broken up with them, I think they're good too on their own. Yeah, in terms of stability. They are not closing the door for you. And it feels like even from a distance, yeah, even from a distance, they're trying to give you space. They might be thinking about you a lot, but they're not letting you know about it. And they're giving you space, yeah, to to see if you would come back, to see if you would initiate, to see if you would put in effort, yeah, into this connection. But this is someone who is um, taking a step back, but not blindly. And they're taking a step back, but consciously giving you that space and allowing you to to get into some form of realization yeah that if you want this you will come and that is that is the confidence that this person has i kind of like this person's energy yeah so at least that's for now that's what i see for them but at the same time um moving forward uh possible outcome i feel that <laughs> If you don't really take an initiative here, I think this person would come and, and communicate to you, yeah, to have this honest uh, conversation that um, they will tell you what they truly want. And what they want is a serious uh, kind of relationship, a connection, right, before it's too late. Okay. Moving on to Capricorn, the person in your mind, Capricorn, what are they up to? Okay. All right, the person in your mind, um, oh wow, Capricorn, what did you do with this person? It feels like your person is um, taking this time, really needing this time to just heal, yeah? As somebody who could be spending a lot of time with their friends, uh, enjoying, enjoying the summer, um, but it feels like this is a... Uh, This is someone who is spending the time and being happy. Um, but for the most part, because it feels like the connection they had with you is sort of um, getting some form of closure. It doesn't mean that you are really breaking up, but it's more like getting into a state of having clarity as to uh, where you are both at right now. Yeah, Somebody who is... Um, possibly aware of how you feel about them yeah if they had a lot of questions in the past um, now their questions are being answered either through their communication with you or through your actions when you're with them so this is someone who is getting that clarity but at the same time um, a person who is pretty mellow too in their approach in life yeah in terms of love i mean um, they don't really argue as much uh whatever happens within the day they tackle it within the day so that type of energy and they see to it that when they deal with life event life's events or even life's issues on a day-to-day -day basis they try to be in a more balanced and harmonious state mm -hmm. For some of you, this is someone who is waiting for reconciliation with you after you have had an ending. Okay, In their heart space, um, they still want to work on this though. That's why there's that sense of waiting. Somebody who is being patient towards you. They still want to work on this. Yeah, Somebody who probably have invested um, their time, money, energy towards you. And they're kind of thinking how else they could... Um, 
how else can they have this pull factor yeah or how else can they draw you nearer to make you work with them yeah to build something together in the near future i feel that um you would still continue to communicate with this person either way it's more about communicating on what's happening about your life what's happening about their life it's more about the day-to-day -day life events in terms of how they feel about you i do see them just trying to uh keep how they feel about you within themselves they might not be expressing it as much or they would even try to really um just hold back yeah and just hold back especially if they know that you're not ready to discuss about your emotions this person would try or have the courage to just um, be more emotionally mature in dealing with with this situation yeah and somebody who is pretty patient with you I feel but you know what this person is having some struggles too because they are emotionally attached to you and they're just trying to be um, understanding compassionate but this person also has needs yeah so if their needs are not met of course they are not also fully satisfied or emotionally fulfilled in this situation but their focus is actually caring for you you know and giving you that time to to realize whether is this the connection that you want to work on yeah or are you willing are you are you going to get to a point where you would decide to be with them okay all right now moving on to uh is it aquarius yeah, I think it's Aquarius. I hope I didn't miss anyone. I think I missed um, Capricorn, is it? Well, I did Capricorn earlier, so now this is Aquarius. The person in your mind, Aquarius, let's see. What are they up to? The person in your mind, it feels like... Oh, wow. person in your mind is someone who has been in love with you from the start <laughs> this is someone who wanted a a romantic relationship with you from the very first time that you met them mm -hmm. but it feels like um, you've closed out a cycle with this person mm -hmm. and that um, you know there could have been boundaries set here or the rules of engagement has changed and I feel that they are just to keep their self-esteem intact I feel this person has walked away yeah and sort of acknowledge that um, closure that you had before but when they first met you they were really in love with you but that cycle seemed to have been over or has been closed out yeah it feels like this person could be single right now yeah could be on their own right now trying to just build their own life mm -hmm. and i do see that um even if they do have feelings for you right now they're not really acting on it they're not really doing anything about those feelings yeah they keep it where they should be in them with them yeah and um in the future i feel that um I feel that this person it's either you both have this chance to rekindle what you have together um, or they would be able to find a new love here somebody would be coming in to bring that new desire a new love for them which would put this person at the crossroads yeah the hindrance here for both of you to rekindle this if this is something that you want is that this cycle may have um, uh, caused distrust the end of a cycle here so even if this person still has feelings for you they may not trust you as much as before so when they meet another person which i see that they are going to be meeting someone new 
at the same time they are still considering you um, but with you they need to have trust yeah so if you really want this that means that work needs to be done here to gain back this person's trust because this person would be at a crossroads in some time in the future between you between their feelings for you but they don't trust you versus a new person who would be open to give them this new chance or new opportunity to love again or to have this romantic relationship that they want okay now lastly we have um pisces all right pisces let's see what do we have for pisces i think if i have not done capricorn i'll do capricorn um, after pisces okay so if i have done capricorn earlier then that's gonna be for those of you who doesn't resonate that i'll do it um afterwards but for now let's do pisces Pisces, the person in your mind, what are they up to? Let's see. Okay. Oh. <laughs> this person, Pisces, may have breadcrumbed you, may not have given you that full attention that you want, right? They may have not messaged you the way you want them to do. Um, but I do feel that they are starting to miss you. They are starting to think about you. yeah. Starting to even think about what they could give you. What message can they give you? What gifts? What type of flowers you want? So this is someone who's considering um, thinking, considering how they could uh, reach back out to you. What sort of message can they uh, give so you could appreciate it yeah they miss you okay Pisces they miss you um, if they're not talking to you right now don't fret and you want them to think about you don't fret because even if they're not talking to you I see them checking you out in, in different means, in different ways. It could be to your friends, to those of you who are, who have online presence, they could be um, checking on you online. In other means, yeah, but this person still has their eyes on you. And again, this is a person who is considering working things out with you, yeah? It's been a while, possibly. I see in the future too that um, Time has passed between you and this person. Perhaps time has passed, you haven't been talking, you haven't been engaging with one another. But I do see that um, um, this person is waiting for the right time for uh, to reach back out to you. Yeah, Especially if you haven't been talking for quite a while. Um, in the near future, I see this person uh, you know trying to convince themselves well it's been a while i haven't talked to pisces um since that last time that i ghosted them or i stopped communicating with them uh maybe now it's the right time to message pisces so you could expect that but again the timeline here especially with temperance on the table this is taking a lot of time it's more like divine timing so when this one comes out this also talks about you not having to wait for them to reach out to you it's more about you um doing your very best to make your day as fun as loving as possible with or without them and that could expedite actually the process of them realizing that yeah it's about time to come back to pisces <laughs> okay does that make sense this is a person who may have stopped communicating you know uh, or ghosted you even But I do see them really contemplating on what can they bring to you once more. Okay, that's what I have for you, Pisces. Now let me do Capricorn. So if I have done Capricorn earlier, then that's the first message. If that doesn't resonate, 
this could be another message that you would be uh, that could resonate with you. All right. So let me just do Capricorn. Capricorn, the person in your mind. What are they up to? Capricorn. Let's see. All right. Oh wow! I'm getting more than. I have correct nine cards. Good. All right, Capricorn. The person in your mind, Capricorn. Um. Wow. Okay. So the person in your mind, on your mind, Capricorn, um, this is someone who is wanting to uh, be able to communicate with you again, um, be able to see you, be with you once again, yeah? But at the same time, they're not really telling you their desires. Yeah, they're not telling you their desires. It could also be that they are spending a lot of, most of their time um, engaging with other matters in their life rather than really focusing on on the emotional aspect or on the love aspect of things and um they may have felt like you have stopped giving them attention you have breadcrumbed them or you're not really focusing on this connection with them for the most part they may feel like you have forgotten them yeah you have forgotten them so focusing on other matters rather than a person who has possibly forgotten them is somehow the best choice for them right now and um i do see this person wanting to have more clarity yeah about this current situation with you so it could likely be that they want you to communicate to them or um, they will communicate to you right this is someone who would possibly be asking you you know, they have done their best, they have um, reciprocated with whatever you you brought into this connection, you know, there was a reciprocation, they did put an effort into this. What's wrong with them? How come things are not working out between the two of you? So this is a person who may have all those questions in mind and they want clarity about it, yeah. Um, bottom line is they still have this sense of um, wanting to be with you they still want to be uh, you know for both of you to reconcile yeah because they are not really over you it's it's pretty hard for this person to it's pretty hard for this person to fully let you go um, it could be that because their interest level is really high or it could also be that this is someone who is in that type of cycle you know a, a person who who just leave um, the doors open for them to just come back anytime they want. That's the energy I am getting. That's the energy, it's pretty weird, right? It's more like, um, you know what Capricorn, apart from that, I am also getting that, uh, I'm also getting that this person may also be dealing with other people. They may also be dealing with other people and they're not telling you about it. So this clarity that they are asking for you, it's more about asking for your quote unquote review. Yeah. So if they dealt with you and things did not pan out well, they want to know what did they do wrong? Yeah. In order for them to really be more aware of what they're doing but it feels like there is no desire for this person to really commit at least for now because I do see them possibly um, having other connections it could also be connections based on sexual um, matters not really serious you know that they're building life together but you know, they could have um, casual encounters with other people. 
So you take it however this res resonates because the devil is coming out here and this is your energy. So this reading could also be reversed. This could be you. Yeah. But take it however that resonates. This is, um, I'm not saying you're the devil, but the, the energy of the card is the Capricorn card, right? I'm trying to read this about your person, but you come out, you came out here. Let's see. Oh yeah, so um okay. So okay, so now it's pretty clear. Let me redo this reading to have clarity, but um if that first message resonated with you, that's good. But your person right here is someone who wants to build with you. <laughs> Capricorn, this is someone who wants to build with you and wanting to have clarity, wanting to have clarity as to why things are not going the way they want to. Um, clarity in terms of they want to communicate to you and they want uh, a victorious start, you know, so it's not just a haphazard, okay, let's get back together, we can be friends first and see how things go. They don't want that. They want more clarity as to, okay, Capricorn, are you good with this um, situation? And can we move things forward? Can we be together? Can you stop dating anybody or something like that? Whatever their desire in terms of, of um, relationship. Because this is someone who is willing to um, build more or to, be, um, to have a, a stronger foundation in a relationship primarily with you. Yeah, primarily with you. And they want to be able to spend more time, have fun together and... They want to be able to start something new with you, yeah? Um, despite the fact that in this situation, somebody here may have some, may have some extracurricular activities, yeah? But when I clarified it with, a, with this card, when I clarified the devil, it is actually somebody who is wanting to start fresh, start anew with you, okay? I hope that makes sense and um, I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you everyone for joining me today. And um, if you are uh, wanting to have more readings for monthly and weekly, so you can check out my um, channel. I have um, tons of readings in there that you might find insightful. Okay. Thanks everyone and have a good week ahead.